Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening. May Almighty God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is When God blesses you, keep your mouth shut. Many times we are the architects of our misfortune because we are so quick to be loud mouthed about our testimonies especially the ones we are still anticipating or the ones we have not fully manifested yet even though revelation 12 11 says and they overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony it is still important to know the right time to give your testimony and just because someone claps the loudest for you that does not mean the person is happy for you some people will clap the loudest and still plan your downfall some people will have the loudest voices while sharing your success story and still envy you the most some people are the snakes in disguise wolves in sheep's clothing really closely too cunning for a human being not everyone is your friend not everyone is a supporter many times many Christians fall into this trap of having their blessings or miracles cut short they got too excited and told another Christian friend or believer about the things they were expecting from God or how much God has blessed and prospered them. They confuse or mistake confessing positivity in faith with testifying. Jeremiah 17 9 says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Human beings, because of the sinful nature passed down from Adam, are very terrible creatures. The only reason why some Christians are capable of showing love to other people, especially people they do not know, is because of the power of God at work in them through the person of the Holy Spirit. And this is the hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with His love. Romans chapter 5 verse 5 The nature of the flesh is evil, full of wickedness. Naturally, humans are so unkind, desperately wicked, with zero intentions to lift other people and zero happiness to see other people win. Especially to win at the same time, they once struggle with. The world is full of unkind people, people who love to bring other people down, people who hate to see others succeed and get what they have been trying to get or achieve, people who only lift others as long as they do not surpass them, people full of jealousy, strife and envy, people willing to go to any length just to make sure another person does not get what he or she deserves or needs people who are ready to use and dump others. This is the reason why we must be careful with the things we say, how we say them, and who our audiences are. The people with whom you are sharing your testimonies, especially at the wrong time, might be the same people to block the remainder of your blessings. Remember, silence is golden all the time and if you must testify you must to wait for the right time to testify also do not go around being loud and talking about the things you are yet to accomplish if it aren't done yet the miracles you're expecting from god the breakthroughs you are anticipating a new favor coming your way if they are not here yet do not be the person to talk all and do nothing. Sometimes, let your results speak for you unless you are talking to your destiny helpers 
or people you owe updates. Do not be all over the place saying and speaking of things you cannot achieve. Do not drag for in the public for for public attention. If you have nothing to keep up with, just listen to Songs of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 5. It wants to not awaken love until the time is right. Let us read it. Promise me, O women of Jerusalem, by the gazelles and white bear, not to awaken love until the time is right. Do not try to attract public attention until the time is right. Not everyone is a child of God, you know, and not every Christian has a clean heart. Some people are agents of the devil, looking for whom to pounce on and destroy. When you start being loud about your blessings, especially when the time is not right yet, you are giving these bad people an access to information they will use to manipulate your situation and destroy a piece of information they should not have. Sometimes your loud mouth could be telling your friend that you trust. The trusted friend then opens up your information to another trusted friend and that is how the chain is built until it gets the hearing of your enemy, one that is set out to destroy you or block your blessings. Another reason why you should shut your mouth when God blesses you is that many other people are seeking to have that opportunity you had. It could be a contract, a job opportunity, or a great spouse. There have been many people feeling to be in that position you are currently in. When you start being loud about it, especially to the wrong people at the wrong time, they will find ways to snatch that opportunity out of you, to take the opportunity for themselves and their selfish gains. Please, listen to this advice and do the right thing. It's not every testimony you have to come out and start talking about. You can't share all the testimonies. Keep the ones so that the enemies will not be pursuing you everywhere you are. This is just what I want to tell you now. May you be blessed in the land of the living. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.